Hello everyone, Harry here, welcome back. What is this on my screen, you ask? Is that Mixbus after the absolute slating you've given it several times on review videos on your channel? Yes, it is. Yes, I bought it with my own money, and yes, I am using it for many things. I'd like to start by categorically saying that it's still pretty shit. <laughs> if you're trying to work in it as a workspace and record things, edit things, do all the things that you do in your door, it's awful. It crashes all the time, it's full of glitches, nothing quite works properly, the editing tools are shit, the MIDI handling is atrocious, the piano roll system and things is just awful. But unfortunately, it sounds really, really, really good, and the mixing workflow in it is tremendous, which means that all of those other things don't really matter, because you just don't use them. I literally asked it to quit, that's all I asked it to do. It's fucking ridiculous. People that will use this full time, and I know I can hear them already in the comments saying, oh, it's actually really easy, you just gotta know your keyboard commands. Couldn't give a shit. I've tried to use this for a couple of weeks now as a day to day door, and um, I've just. <laughs> after I've used Logic, after I've used Reaper, why would you put yourself through this? Just use one of those. It's not what I've got the door for. I've literally just got this for mixing. That's it, for the final little mix to get your song sounding brilliant. I'm actually doing all of the recording, all of the arrangement, all of the editing, all of the surgical EQs, everything that you need to do in Reaper. I'm actually partially mixing it in Reaper, but then the stage before you start putting things in buses and things, I'm bouncing it out of Reaper and putting it into here. And then I'm doing the very final mix here. But when I drop it in, it's arranged, all the EQs done, it's all sitting well with each other, I've got no frequency problems, I've done all of that in a different program, and this is literally just to get the finished polish on it. So, what I've started doing with this is, I get my project, I record it all, I get everything real nice, I get everything recorded real tasty. Within Reaper, I will go through, I will edit everything, I will cut it down, I will do the arrangement, I will do all of the surgical EQs, removing all the shit that you don't need, I'll do all the compression, I'll do all the limiting, I'll do all of the just everything you need to do. I will then do a light mix in Reaper. Not to the point where I'm putting anything in buses, I don't want anything bust, I don't want anything grouped, I'm just doing a light mix of the, the media that I have. When I've got to a point where I'm happy with how it's sounding, and I'm happy that there's no big frequency clashes, that I've, I've you know, left space in the bass guitar for the kick drum, all that standard ABC kind of bullshit, I will then render everything into stems, from Reaper as essentially kind of a half mix project. I will then drop those stems into Mixbus and just finish it off. Just just blow it across the line. So that's how I'm using Mixbus and you know what? The mix inside of it is awesome. It's really good to give them the due. It sounds so rich and so warm and you can get a song sounding absolutely brilliant in next to no time at all. It's ridiculous. Drop something in that's 90% of the way there and you'll get it to 100% in half an hour. I think this project that's here, it's not quite finished, but I think I've only done about 20 minutes of mixing in Mixbus on it. Everything else, it just kind of falls into place and sounds good. So has actually using it changed my feelings on it? Yeah, of course it has. I've used it more, I've kind of seen through some of the, the face value bits of shit on it and kind of looked through to some of the good things that it's got. Again, like I said, I wouldn't use it as a day-to-day -day door. Recording in it is an absolute shithole. Would I recommend buying it? Yeah, why not? Buy as many tools as you possibly can. A good toolbox has one of everything in it. You don't know whether you're gonna use this until you've used it. Try the demo, give it a go. That's what I always say, download the demo and give things a go because if you don't give them a go, you don't know. This might not be right for you. It might not be right for the genre of music that you're doing or for the type, or for the way that you produce music. But you never know unless you give it a try. So go and download the demo, give it a go. I'm sure there'll be many more updates in my Mixbus Chronicles, but yeah, I am using it full time now for finishing off mixes and it's made such a huge difference. So as always, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're all good, I hope you're all keeping well. Keep on making music and I will see you all very soon. Bye bye.